Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Gonzalo. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna do this uh, quick video. I own you guys this video, all right, about um, the sites uh, that fits the SAR9. So I've been doing my homework um, and uh, I haven't found any sites that fits uh, on this gun, all right, except for this one, all right. I saw some uh, some comments online, you know, uh, they probably the MP uh, shield Rear sides are gonna, nine mil is gonna fit on on the back and then on the Glock uh, 17 or 19 uh, generation five is gonna fit the front and uh, it's actually right. All right, they will fit. All right, so the gun is clear. So we're gonna take this uh, this apart real quick. Pull the slide, pull it down, press the trigger and then go forward. All right, so we're gonna remove the barrel. Put this to the side. So as you guys can see, um, so I, I already got rid of the packet, but I'm gonna be putting the information on the screen so you guys can see, uh, and I, you guys can actually, uh, if you decide to purchase and change the size on your gun, you guys can actually uh, have all the information, right? So these ones are really, 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 really bright uh, sights. I don't know if you guys can see or appreciate the brightness on these uh, little guys right here on these sights. But in person, outside, actually, they are really, 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 really bright. All right, so um, they come with this uh, Allen key. I already tried different uh, Allen keys and I can't find any. All right, so once you remove the old ones, uh, already, which I already did, you know, I use a, a brass punch and punch it to the side. Any side will go out, all right? So, so this one's not gonna be the right or the left. Any side that you punch it out is gonna be, uh, it's gonna come out. All right, you guys can see the finish on this uh, slide. It's not that good. So mine was a little rusty, so I clean it up, you know, a little bit. I didn't use any type of sand. I didn't remove any material, right? So don't do that, all right? Um, and I apply some oil. If you guys can see, there's already a mark to put it in the dead center. So all you have to do is pretty much take the sight, put it in the gun. So let me go back a little bit. So actually on mine, what I'm gonna do Since I have it out and I forgot already on the first time, I'm gonna apply a little bit of lock time in there. Oh, that was too much. That was a little bit too much. So let me take this. Uh, there you go. So that, whatever is in the tread, that's enough. Then I'm gonna slowly go in till I find that dead center. Shouldn't be that hard. So that's the center right there. Keep it moving a little bit. Bam. So that center is actually like a little cone. So the screw is gonna come out, come in perfect. But right. a little bit of tension, not too much. You don't wanna break it or break the, um, you know, it's a small Allen key, so you don't wanna break it, all right? And uh, for the inside, all right? I couldn't find any tool online that fits the screw on the inside, all right? So it's kinda like a Glock, uh, it's a Glock, uh, kind of like a Glock uh, size, but it's not, all right? The one for, I don't remember, the one, it's different. It's not gonna fit, all right? So the one for the factory one, I don't know if it's bigger or smaller. I already forgot, I remove it, I throw it away, all right? Um, so I found the actual size with a socket and I, I don't have it right now, it's my bad, you know, I just got rid of. And I actually found a socket that fits in there, 
all right? So I found it, found the round one that fits in there, and I grind it. So it's a little work, you know? So if you wanna change it, that's fine, but you're gonna have a little work removing the front side. Or if you can actually find a tool that um, fits in that uh, screw in the top, all right? So I found the, uh, the socket, I grind a little bit around, so it's thin like this one right here, and put it in there, apply a little pressure, firm, all right? Make sure it's firm and it's not to the side, because if not, you're gonna mess uh, the top of the screw and you're not gonna be able to take it out. So once you put it in there, you find the, uh, that it's locked in place, you apply a little bit of pressure, if you can buy, find a vise, put in a vise, make sure if you're using a vise, you're using a, a thick cloth, so it's not gonna mess the slide, you know, lock it in place. And then with the wrench, the wrench, turn it to the left, all right? Not to the right, to the left. Once you turn to the left, remove the old one, and then uh, that's it, all right? So for this one, it's gonna be easy. All you have to do is put it in and uh, apply a little bit of thread uh, of, um, this one here, thread locker, the blue one, not the red one. Or if you don't want to move it forever, you want to leave it there forever, just apply the red one. But I got the blue one. The wood, the blue one is uh, strong enough, right? And if I find something better, a better setup, I just can't remove it. So for this, uh, this type of sights, right? They fit a little bit small, right? So I, ha I had, I actually had, try my Glock, uh, my, cause I, I had two, I have a Glock 19 and a 17. So I have, a, I have my Glock 17 and the 19 and I tried it in there and they fit perfect for, for these ones. They fit a little bit, a little bit. So once you tie it off, you can, before you tie it off, you can move it a little bit. But once it's tied in place, you cannot move it anymore. But what I did, what I did, it's, uh, wait a second. So I use a little bit of um this quick steel right here. So what I did is I, I put it on the side, on the top, on the outside, apply a little bit and put it in. All right, so that's, that's pretty much gonna close the gap around if there's any empty space, it's gonna clo close all that gap, right? And this one's not gonna keep it in there because once it's in there, you uh, screw, tie it up, and it's not gonna glow in there. I mean, since it's not gonna be inside the tread, it's gonna be on the outside, so it's not gonna be locked in place forever, right? So, and it came out pretty good, right? It's, it's right there in the center. The only problem that you're gonna, gonna have is, um, if you guys can see, like in the back, we're not removing um, the paint or whatever they put in the slide, or well, it's actually a paint. Um, because the other one is a little bit uh, to the front, further to the front, and a little bit thicker, the actual metal, you know, is not painted on there. So you're gonna have a little bit, you can see a little bit of uh, rough metal without being paint. But you know that doesn't affect me. It's a little bit, so it, I can't. I can't even tell. You can probably get a, a paint marker. Oh, I can't find my black one, but, but one of these uh, paint markers right here. Paint it a little bit, and then take a a rag, piece of rag or something, clean it up, and the paint is gonna stick in the inside. I'm probably gonna do that on mine. You know, but like I said, I don't care. I don't care. So it came out pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so now I have to um, take it to a wrench and test it. But you know, it's the same brand, the high base uh, sights. It's the same brand in the back and same brand in the front, all right? But for different pistols, all right? But it's, it's, it's level, the same level. I mean, come on, it's a flat surface. So I don't know how it's gonna be, uh, be off, you know? But I on you guys that it's gonna be a second part uh, next time I go to the range, I'm gonna test it and see how um, how accurate are the sights. But man, I'm I'm happy so far, man. You know they they look so good. Actually, um, the rear sight 
comes with this uh this tool right here where you can remove it you can apply some pressure here let me see if i can do it right now yeah apply. i don't know i have to uh i have to read the instructions oh the other way man i'm gonna mess this up there you go so you can apply some pressure and then take them up take the red ones or you want to black out the rear or put the red ones in the back or or the green ones in the back and the red one in the front you can do that but i like green it's more brighter so um i have green ones there you go it clicks in there bam same in the front the front ones comes with this one so um, i have a green one if i want to change it i put a, a red one or a white one uh, which I'm not gonna do it. Well, why I'm gonna change uh, the size that I already have to put a black in the back or a white in the back? Well, well, this one doesn't have a white, but you know what I'm saying. So it came out pretty good. So next video, second part of this video, um, I'm gonna be doing the wrench and see uh, how accurate they are. All right? Hopefully, uh, hopefully they're good. But they're bright. They're really bright, man. They're, they look like they're on, like a freaking bulb is on, a green bulb is on uh, lighting. So they're super bright and they look awesome. They look awesome. I believe if you, got, you guys like red, you guys can probably put a red in the front and two green ones or two reds in the back and one green in the front, it don't matter, right? But they look pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna be putting the formation right there in the screen for you guys, all right? And um, so the information is gonna be at the end. So I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys like the video. You know, I just wanna put some ideas in there for you guys. And um, I do the homework. Once I get it done, I share with you guys, all right? So please subscribe and uh, share this video and comment down below if it's good or any questions you guys have just let me know as soon as i get uh the chance or as soon as possible i will get back to you guys all right all right guys i will see you in the next video stay safe out there